attention. Knapford is the busiest rail yard on the island of Sodor. With the harbour and mainline station, goods and passengers come here day and night. So Knapford Yard has always needed a pilot engine to handle the shunting. Thomas the Tank Engine was the first one to do this job, then Percy, then Duck, and for the last few years, Mavis and Arthur had been sharing the yard duties. But Arthur had gone to run the Harwick branch line, and Mavis was busy on Thomas's branch line. Sir Tom Hatt had recently trialled Wilbert the forest engine on his railway, and he decided that an engine just like Wilbert was just what Knapford needed. That night, he spoke to the mainline engines in Tidmouth Sheds. I'm pleased with all your hard work during this time. But Knapford needs a new pilot engine. I've found one. He's a taddle tank like Wilbert and will keep the yard in order. Most of the mainline engines were pleased with this news. But Gordon, James and Henry sniggered to each other. We're going to have some fun with him, they whispered. The next morning, James and Henry were at Knapford station with their morning trains. They watched as Gordon shunted his express coaches next to platform 1. I'll be glad when the new engine gets here. So a big engine like me shouldn't be shunting. I agree, James added. The more time I spend in the yard, the less time people will have to see me and my red paint. You're lucky you don't have to shunt the flying kipper, added Henry. As much as I enjoy pulling that train, those trucks stink. Before Gordon and James could reply, they all heard something in the distance. Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. Is that the new engine? asked James. Oh no, groaned Gordon. Don't tell me the fat controller's brought an army engine. The three big engines watched as an austerity saddle tank engine puffed into Natwood. He was painted British Army green with sergeant stripes on his tanks. His copper pipes were polished to look like gold, and he had a neat and trimmed moustache. The fat controller came out of his office when he heard the tank engine. The engine stopped just outside the station. Sergeant Warrington, we're pointing for duty, sir! Addy, soldier, saluted the fat controller. Engines, this is Sergeant Warrington. He'll be taking over shunting duties here in Natford. Yes, sir, said the sergeant, and he looked at the three big engines. I see you three are in my platoon. Platoon, pondered Henry. He means team, replied James. Now, sergeant, said Sir Tom Hatt, head to the yard. Navis will show you around, and she'll show you your new duties. Sir, yes, sir, he shouted, and rolled away. Gordon, Henry and James were worried. This engine is going to be difficult, said Gordon. And he was right. Mavis showed Sheldon Warrington around, but he picked everything up quickly. By the end of the day, he knew the yard worked like the back of his buffers. Mavis was surprised by the way he handled the trucks too. Every time he lined some of the trucks up for a goods train, he always spoke to the trucks. Brace yourselves, brace yourselves! Frame straight, couplings ready. At it, wait for it, wait for it. At turn, chun! Sergeant Warrington and Mavis worked well together. Shunting the trucks and preparing the coaches for the main line engines to take away. By the time the two engines were turned to the sheds, it was very late and the other engines were asleep. The next morning, the engines were still asleep. When it happened. Woo up! cried the engines. The engines looked to see Sergeant Warrington's driver blowing the bugle. Splendid! No better way to start the day than a good tune on the bugle. Attention men! Get your fires lit! That's an order! What's the time? asked the sleepy James. Five o'clock in the morning, Private. Five? exclaimed Gordon. It's too early to be up. The first train of the day is not for two hours yet. But your fire lighters are here, in the army, 
When one's up, everybody's up. So no slacking in my patroon. Now, at ease, men! And the sergeant rolled away to begin his shunting work. This engine is getting on my nerves, said Gordon. It was you who said we was going to have some fun with him, grumbled James. This tank engine is going to push us around, said Henry. And he did. For the rest of the day, Sergeant Warrington enforced the walls to the three big engines. No high speed recklessness, Private Gordon. Stick to the speed limits. Get to the wash down, Private Henry. Spick and span. Bags of elbow grease. Double check your loads, Private James. Your trucks are overloaded. He just wouldn't stop and the big engines wanted something to use against the tank engine. But that's another story.